go, look at him. Down at Barham with the Total Carp cameras. Just caught a 33 pounder in the middle of the day in the sunshine. Lovely job. Um, had him on my new hinge rig. And uh, when he goes back, I'll show you exactly how I tie it up. The easy way. Lovely job. Right then, let's get riggy with it. <laughs> Laney getting riggy, who'd have ever thought it? Gonna tie up the stiff, curved end section of my hinge rig. Like I said earlier, the easy way. Well, I think it's an easier way. I'm not very good at them the normal way. So we're doing it my way. So we've got a size four talon tip hook which are amazing hooks, by the way. They just don't ever seem to go blunt. And we have here some Gardner clear stiff link in 15 pound. Um, you need to keep a band on this stuff. I've got a, one of the <laughs> daughter's hair bands on it. <laughs> Otherwise it tends to go wah and come flying off the spool. Um, scissors, chop off a undetermined length. As long as it's plenty, what's that? About 10 inches to mouth. Then you hold the two cut ends together. This is why it's a symbol. So you've got that like that. Two cut ends together, and you're pushing both cut ends, and a set of these for this, and put them through the eye of the hook from the back to the front, like so. So you've got a loop there and you simply pop the loop over the hook and feed it through. Don't just pull it through to curl it, sort of push the loop up towards the eye, take a few seconds, tease it up there. And then you have your hook on your stiff section, as simple as that. You know, whipping or anything required. And then I'm going to take a size 11 link swivel and attach it here. Now the knot I'm going to use has a name but I can't tell you the name because because <laughs> it rhymes with anchor <laughs> basically. Um, and it's very, very simple. It is a half hitch. That is it. So just slide on your ring swivel through the actual swivel, not the link. And I am determining what length you want that. Depends on what you're fishing over. How deep you think your chod is. <laughs> and it is literally just round and back through. Simple as that. Simple as that. If you actually go back through, I need stronger glasses. There we go. We're through now. With this stiff link material, you don't need any fancy knots. It just binds together perfectly. done quite a long one here so you can see what's going on then I'll take a little pair of pliers <coughs> and hold the material and I take something like the handle of my scissors and hold the hook and I do that so that if it, anything slips it's not slipping straight through my finger I just pull that up nice and tight slide that round to the top of the swivel like so trim off the tag ends with my scissors that I've lost already because they're on my knee leave a little bit on the end and then I'll just blob 
the end of that. I mean, it's never going to slip anyway, but just in case, belt and braces. There we go. And that's your stiff section. Done. Super stiff. You can recurve that as much as you like. You can also angle it out of the eye of the hook if you want it more aggressive, like so. So, for bait attachment, you can use bait screw, whatever you normally use for pop-up rigs. You can use a bait screw, um, you can use anything that you slide on there. Um, but me, personally, if you've ever seen me tie any rig, ever, you'll know that I always use a little air on a sliding ring and hook feed. So if I just pop that over the point of the hook, and then the tricky bit, in my eyes, is getting the hook bead through the hole in the middle. And out the corresponding hole the other side. Oh my God, we've only gone and done it, I think, or near enough anyway. I'll slide that up to the top. A lot higher than normal. I fish pop-up rigs usually on the top of the bend, but not with this one. I want it on the back there. And as simple as that, you've got your yeah, stiff section at the end. All that needs is a boilie on there. It looks super duper. There we go. Lane is simple. Hinged, stiff, or stiff hinged, depending where you live. So what I tend to do, rather than doing it on the bank, is when I'm bored at home, a little bag, it's so quick to tie up. Um, I don't bother putting on all the um, rings and hairs, but you can just reuse them, to be honest. But I've just got a load little sections already tied up in the bag so if by some chance the hook does get bluntened which these very rarely do i can just take off the hair section on the ring pop it on new bead and i've got those all tied up ready to go very organized laney very organized very unusual for me but there you go miracles do happen so <clears throat> all you have to do then is attach it to a boom section of choice. You can literally tie on here, stiff um, coated braid, soft coated braid, more of the stiff link. Um, I tend to use the ultra skin hook link. I quite like it in the coated soft, unbroken to be honest, but I've also got um, the ultra skin stiff, which you tie up in the same way as normal hook link, but I do hold that over the steam for a couple of seconds, not too close to melt the coating and that gives you a nice stiff section but for purposes here I'll just quickly whip that on to a soft boom section depends what you're trying to achieve sometimes if you think there's you know standing weed and that on the bottom you might want a softer section rather than have your stiff hook link lay like that and your pop-up be sticking up in the air Fishing in silt, I like it stiff. And just tie that onto there. And the knot from the hook link is where you're gonna mold the putty to hold it all down. A little pot of putty. Knob of that. So wrap that round the hook, uh, around the knot from the hook link. Give him a little twist, smarten him up a bit. Not that it makes any difference apart from in photos how smart it looks. Which is just as well. 
they don't look as smart as some that you see, but there you go, totally functional. There you have it. Easy as that. So there we go. And the additional benefit of this is that if you haven't got a load already tied up um, to swap over, you can, it's very, very simple to change the hook. If you just take your bead and your ring off, you can feed your hook link back through, pop your hook out, pop a new one on and just pull it down tight. As long as you use a hook with a big enough eye to get that loop back through, you squash it down and if it with my teeth to get it flat. You know, most chod hooks and stuff like that have got an extra, you know, an extra large eye and you can just pop the loop back through over the end of the hook, donk, straight back down.